Here's a quick test I thought I'd share with everyone. Uh, I just want to say, first of all, this is not where I'm going with this machine. I've already shown where I'm going with it. But uh, I've had numerous requests uh, to show, you know, well, what kind of power output do you get out of the axial flux alternator? It's, you know, it's so tiny. And uh, I know this is a real mess, and it's a real cheap, cheap setup. But uh, here's what we've got. Uh, I've taken the capacitors here and I've disconnected them. Right here is the wire loose so there's no power coming in or uh, going out of them. Uh, what we're going to do over here in the battery box of these little 12-volt uh, ATV batteries I've shown before, I've got the two end batteries connected in series with this wire here, uh, this, these two ends, and they're going to run the motor. I've got it in somewhat of a Stargate uh, configuration. I couldn't put the retainer on, so I just stuck these on here so that we get the gain from that, which is nice. Then I got this real El Cheapo uh, 4 to 1 reduction with these pulleys, you know, major uh, friction and lots of loss there. So uh, that's always fun. And um, and then over here in this rat's nest here, I've, I've got uh, direct connections to the three-phase alternator. Two of the phases, let me step back here, two of the phases will run down here and come into this 40 watt bulb, so we'll light the 40 watt bulb. The third phase here uh, goes into the uh, bridge rectifier here, and uh, the DC power off of this goes in to charge the other two batteries in the center that are connected also in series for 24 volts. Uh, what I end up doing here with this with this wire, wire is I split one of the phases. There's uh, four coils to each phase, so there's 12 coils total on the axial flux. So I, I split this phase here and run this wire down and just connect it here so I have enough voltage going in to charge the batteries. So uh, what we want to know is, um, well, what we're going to do here is we're, ju we're just going to read the the amps that are being drawn off of the run batteries, the two uh, in, in series 24 volt run batteries, and we're going to show uh, here what the the voltage is going to rise to in the charging batteries. Uh, can you see that? Okay, yeah. So right now it's like 24.79 volts. We can call it uh, 24.8 and just round it off to 12.4 uh, volts per battery. And what we want to do is bring those each of those up to over 13 volts. See how fast it can do that, or if it can do that, and um, and take it from there. So let's let's begin. Make this connection. And it's running, and you can see we're drawing about one and a half amps off the run batteries. And it's running. We still have our 24.79 volts there. Turn on our 40 watt bulb. It pulls it down a little bit, naturally. And let's see what we do when we make this connection. And it pulls it down a little bit more. But we're up to 25 volts. 25, 24, 5. So that's coming up nicely. Still got our 40 watt lit. She's still cranking well. It's probably pulled it down to about uh, 500 RPM at this point, where it was about 600 RPM. Rat's nest is still connected. That's good. This uh, jumbled up mess is still working good. And we're at 25.30 volts. So we've come up pretty good. It's climbing pretty well. And under load, we're pulling uh, less than three amps. You can see that? So we are pulling more power, obviously, to charge those batteries and run the 40 watt bulb off of the two in series. Twenty-five, sixty-eight. Sorry, this is kind of boring. 
but it's fun. And again, it's just an experiment, just to show some output of that axial flux. Because I'm totally going to lose this. <laughs> Still disconnected. There's 26 volts and still climbing. Climbing pretty fast, too. Pretty nice. And still lit. So, pretty powerful. <laughs> Let me turn this junk off. Okay, now I've given the run batteries and the charge batteries a minute or two to settle down and we're showing now that the charge batteries have dropped down to 2585 which is natural and let's just hook up the run batteries let's see what we've got left on them Sorry, this is one-handed. Oops. Come on. Okay. There we go. And we're still showing 2545. That's pretty good. In fact, that's that's real good. 2544, 45. Yeah, just bouncing back and forth. So, we hardly used any power, we brought the other ones up, we ran a 40 watt bulb, all off of one big mess. <laughs> See you next time.